Good evening. Tim Bennett here from the Cortland Voice. When you see this, it'll be the morning, but once again, good evening. Uh, we're here with Melina Fideli and Ava Marsik. Um, they are two seniors at SUNY Cortland, and um, they are two of the um, writers, the contributing writers of the petition um, that was given to the school um, to hold commencement this year in person. Um, as of right now, the school answer or the, the school announced that as of right now that the commencement will be held virtually. Um, Melina, Ava, good evening. Hi. Okay, so what went into uh, creating this uh, petition? Like uh, who was involved? Do you want to sh shine in on that, Melina? Yeah, so I, so as soon as we got the email, I wrote in a chat of like 30 girls um, and we're in a sorority and we all just got really frustrated because they did it the day before the tickets were supposed to go on sale. And we all started talking about it and I said, why not make a petition so we could have our voices be heard. And um, I wrote a little section for it, the description and then everyone else kind of just like helped me with it. And yeah, started signing in, sending it everywhere. Okay. And Ava, what was your role with this? Uh, what did you, what did you do? And uh, tell us more in depth on it. So once we've received the email, like we've really had, we've really just came together to come up with the right words and wording to really get this petition going and on its feet to really show the school how much supporters we have surrounding us, not just in the senior class, but our parents, our families, our friends, um, classmates from high school that go to other schools that see like us suffering through this and really want us to get the in-person graduation that we've worked hard for four years at SUNY Cortland. So once this petition really set off the comments, it was shared on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and it was just incredible how many people stepped forward and just wrote their name down. Some people took the time to write comments to try to sway the school um, towards the other direction to give us an in-person commencement ceremony. At the end of the day, like what is your overall goal? I mean, obviously I know that you want the petition or you want to use the petition to you know, show it to the school and hopefully they'll you're hoping that they'll, you know, decide to go in person, but if it doesn't work in your favor, what are you, what will you, what are your thoughts from, from that? Like, where will you go from there? At the end of the day, at least we know that we tried and put our best, best foot forward to say, like, we tried. And yeah. even if it doesn't work out, if it doesn't succeed, one, it shows how many of our friends and families support us and how many people love us and are proud of us for graduating and completing our undergrad degrees here mm -hmm. at SUNY Portland. And um, I really hope that, you know, this does change things and it does speak louder than any of our voices ever could and um, say many words that can't even be covered just based on this petition. And, and I just hope it really shines through. Yeah, and I feel like the petition is definitely more powerful than just us sending emails to the school because there's just so many people behind it that are supporting us. So I feel like the petition was a really good move to like really get it out there. Are there any other uh, thoughts or any last words that you would like to leave your fellow classmates, um, maybe your parents, the Cortland community maybe? Um, is there anything else that you would like to maybe say directly to them? I'll start with you, Ava. Um, I would just like to say for like everyone who, who feels the same way as us, like don't fear, be afraid to speak out, to send your emails, to make the phone calls, because you'll, you'd be surprised how many voices combined can make such a difference. And that's been shown throughout this past year. And, you know, we've really all come together as a larger support system, We've been there for one another, and I really hope that we can all finish off strong this semester and accomplish our goal with an in-person commencement ceremony. Melina? Yeah, I agree with Ava. Um, even if this doesn't work out, like she said before, is like 
at least we know that we tried to do everything we could to have this in-person graduation and yeah. Okay. Well, thank you both for meeting with me. And um, first things first, I mean, I should have started with this. Congrats on graduating, you know. <laughs> thank um, you. What, are, what, are, what are your majors? I should have asked you that. Sorry about that. Melina, you want to tell me yours? Uh, my major is business economics and I have a minor in communications. Okay. And where do you, what do you want to do with that degree? Um, I want to do something more of like um, marketing part of the business. I don't know if I want to have my own business or what, but um, I'm really into like social media marketing. So I think I want to go into something with that. Okay. And Ava? And I'm a community health major. Um, this summer I'll be working at an infectious disease center dealing with HIV AIDS patients. So that'll really make or break my passion for taking care of people and getting them back on their feet. So that'll kind of help me get myself in the right direction for the next steps to come after college. Well, we at the Cortland Voice, uh, we, we wish you both the best and your whole class the best. And, um, you know, with your efforts, um, many will see this video. So, I mean, hopefully uh, someone that might be trying to hire a business major or a community health major will see it. And um, <laughs> it'll be a great jump start to I, each. It'll be a great jump start, excuse me, to each of your careers. So thank you very much. And thank you for choosing the Cortland Voice. We understand that it's just like we kind of feel like they've put in much effort to figure out the two week uh twice per week pool testing they figured out how to open up the student life center they figured out how to do on campus events like activities stuff like that um frederick clearly stated that um they want to hold special events on campus regarding commencement but meanwhile they can't focus on trying to have an in-person like 50 group at a time walk across the stage and say, you know, you did it. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like their effort isn't being put in the proper places. And then, but they're stating that they are, that they're trying, that they're doing this. But it's like at the end of the day, I re they're not showing anything. You know, it's just a lot of words and they're not following up with their actions. And yeah, like you know just what? An intramural, they just open intramural sports. Like, yeah. That really frustrated and, me and then when I asked why can't we have you know mini commencement ceremonies on our field they said it is Cortland County property and right now the guidelines you can only have 50 people so I said okay on sports teams there could be at least 25 to 25 excluding coaches on a field okay even if they have masks on they're not socially distancing on a field and each other and other I, I said like sports teams like they're like touching each other like we wouldn't we would be still social distance and mask and everything you know and they're versing other schools other people from other environments that we don't know are getting tested as constantly and as us but then they're saying they don't want to have a spike they don't want to have an outbreak pinned on them at our graduation but i just feel like there's been enough events going on and facilities that have opened on this campus that and we have not seen a large spike look at the student life center the you know that gym i've worked there for the past four years it's massive so if one of the large facilities on campus isn't causing a spike in cases i don't see why they can't have smaller sessions and just allow the students to have a bit of an in-person feel for graduation instead of constantly telling the students that you understand and we're trying our best. Tell us the facts. Tell us the thought process and classified sources that can back up the decision of hosting a virtual commencement ceremony. Prove to us you're trying and start listening to students who are advocating possible solutions for an in-person commencement ceremony. We have not paid this much, pushed ourselves this much towards the finish line and worked this hard for the past four years to see our names pass by on another screen. There is nothing special about that. To me, SUNY Cortland has taken the easy way out. Other SUNYs have found ways to make an in-person commencement ceremony work. So can we. None of this is fair. If we get tested every week, sit in class six feet apart, then why can't we have an in-person graduation with those same guidelines outdoors on our massive field? 
We can even have the families be virtual so we can walk. We're so deeply frustrated with this decision and we won't stop till we get what we deserve. If schools that have a larger student body in New York are having an in-person, we should be able to celebrate our four years of hard work and dedication. With more people having antibodies, getting tested, and getting the vaccine, this would make it an even smoother and safer in-person graduation.